What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So today Jagex has finally released the fourth out of the four new Slayer creatures that were coming to us this month. The Acheron Mammoths, Acheron Mammoths, the I don't know how to pronounce their first name Mammoths. They are the Mammoths. Again with level 96 Slayer required to kill them. They drop a level 99 summoning secondary ingredient, the Mammoth Tusk, which is actually rather common compared to the other drops of the 85 leveled weapons. They require level 100 combat, as will the other Slayer creatures, to be assigned by your Slayer Master, and they can be accessed by going north of the Relica Lodestone and going all the way up to the very top, or by the Granite Crabs, I believe they are, or the Rock Crabs, rather. And you can take a boat to Mammoth Island. It is the boat on the left called the Fremnik Boat, I believe. Now, once you take that boat, you will be sent onto an island, an ice island of some sort, obviously an iceberg, and you will be presented with the mammoths. Now, these mammoths can be pretty difficult to kill if you don't know exactly what you are doing, so we'll get into a little bit of the strategy behind the mammoths. First thing you want to know is that they attack with two attack styles, melee and range. They have a few attacks that you should really look out for. First of which would be their range attack, which is it appears to be it kind of grabs icicles and throws them in the air. Now these icicles will land wherever you are standing, so you can actually dodge these rather easily by just moving to either side. Its next attack would be its running rampage attack, which is its biggest attack, and you should really look out for this one. You'll see it in the background footage, me probably getting hit by it a few times. But what appears to happen is it has a blue adrenaline bar that will build up, and you'll see the mammoth itself start charging itself by actually standing in a point. And then it will release itself towards you, dealing three sets of damage that can reach up to 7,000 damage output for each one. And its last bit of damage is just this normal attack, where it seems to kind of just hit at you with a bit of melee damage. Those are the only three that I can really see that stand out towards me so far. So that's about it for the fight itself. Now its area that's located is pretty vast. There is a good amount of mammoths to be killed in here. You just want to kind of look out for it and not be attacking multiple mammoths at once because that will probably end in your death. So getting on to the loot itself from the mammoths, you can see in my inventory I have my loot from 100. And before we get into it, I have gotten five mammoth tusks one of which I made into a familiar, one of which I made into GP, and then the other ones, did I sell the other ones as well? I did, yes, I have them right here. All right, one of which I made into a familiar, and four of which I've sold. So one of them sold for 226, one sold for 228, and the other two have now sold for 228. This one was obtained probably as soon as, I think it was like my fourth or fifth kill, and these ones were later on, so this was probably obtained an hour before these ones, and they've gone up a little bit in price. I don't expect them to go up. I expect them to go actually drastically down. So for the time being, they are worth a fair bit of money. If you do get them, I would suggest them selling them. But getting into the main price check, obviously 100 kills, and I was going after the base loot itself, will grant you about 2.6 million loot. Now, with that being said, that gives you roughly 26k per kill, which isn't actually that bad. Now, loot is made up of onyx bolts, uncut diamonds, mahogany logs, Rune Kite Shields, Raw Sharks, Blue Dragon Hides, the Rune Bars are RDTs. We're going to go with the Water Orbs, the Adamant Ores, the Adamant Bars, Mud Runes, Water Talismans, Dragon Arrowheads, and Unicorn Horns. Everything else is roughly, I believe, an RDT. The Rune Plate Bodies are RDT, Gold Ore, uh, Rune Bars, Dragon Longswords, and I believe that is it. That's it for RDTs. So, 26k per kill on average, which isn't actually terrible, and if you want to add in the... Uh, mammoth tusk i almost call it tusca then you can add in a little bit more money to that obviously an extra two times six is 1.2 mil so another 1.2 mil onto that and then that would add another 12k so that would make it about 30k on average now those tusk uh those tusks are will tusca those tusks will not stay that price like i said before so I'll keep that in mind but that's gonna do it for me here i think that's gonna cover the mammoths for the time being that is loot from 100 Akron Mammoths. I still don't know how to pronounce that. If everybody knows how to pronounce that, please let me know. So, I will see you guys next video, though. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And by the way, if you guys do... Well, if you guys did not know, rather. I'm giving away these little things on Twitter. Where are they? The Offhand Turkey and Mainhand Turkey. Which are a fun little item. But I'm giving them away for Thanksgiving just because... Why not be in the festive spirit? 
they're basically like rubber chickens, but they're rubber turkeys, and they're worth about 14 mil, I believe. So anybody interested in actually price checking these, anybody interested in interested rather in competing for these, you can just go ahead and retweet that tweet on Twitter, and you have a chance to win it. I think about 100 people have already retweeted it, and I will be giving those away on Thursday via Twitter again. So keep that in mind. That will do it for me, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Why am I depositing my rapiers? I'm not going to go kill stuff with rubber turkeys. But I'm going to sign off from now. Hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I will see you all in the next one.